Praise the Lord. Now let me read you something here since we I was going to quit, but it's just there's, there's some stuff needs to be said here. Verse uh, 7, chapter 1, and look at this. It says, After these things, Jesus walked in Galilee, or walked in Galilee, for would not walk in Jewry, which means Judea, because the Jews sought to kill him. That's uh, John chapter 7, verse 1. He said he, he was walking in Judea, or I mean Galilee, because they sought to kill him in Judea. The Jews sought to kill him. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing that the Son of God is among them and they're seeking to kill him? This is an amazing thought. God's Son, God's only Son, is here. And he's talking. And they're seeking to kill him. Mm, what a thing. And he's among them. But yet, they're seeking to kill him. He's talking to them. He's talking to them not on his own authority. He's talking to them the things that his father is giving him. God Almighty. And they're seeking to kill him and find themselves in opposition to him continually. And we're talking about the Son of God. This is just amazing. This is the Son of God. And he says this, Now the Jews' feast of tabernacle was, not at, was at hand. His brethren therefore, now listen to this, listen. His brethren said unto him, Depart hence, and go into Judea, that, thy, that your disciples also may see the works that you do. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things, show thyself to the world. Well, if you seek in your own glory, that be at the forefront of your mind. Now, how can I get recognized? How can I be seen? What can I do, Herb, to draw these people in? So we can tell them all these things that we want to tell them. And the next scripture says, the next verse says, for neither did his brethren believe in him. And what kind of business have you got telling somebody what to do when you don't even believe in what they're doing? <laughs> and they didn't believe in him either. Glory to God. Jesus never sought his own. Never did. He sought the glory of him that sent him. Amen. Amen. And let me read you a verse. Let me read you a verse of scripture. Hold your place here. Turn over here to, to eight. Just one more verse. I mean one page here probably. Uh, chapter eight. And verse 28. Then Jesus said unto them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself that I do nothing of myself. How much is nothing? Does that leave some? Maybe a little bit. Maybe just a little. Nothing. But as my father had taught me, I speak these things. And he that sent me is with me. And the father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. Now, is this so? Is this true? No, one day Jesus got mad. He said, I've had it, Lord. I've had it, Father. I'm going up to the temple and I'm running them out. Angry, mad. 
Well, you just have to forgive me, but I'm going. I've took enough. This is it. This went too far. Over the top. I'm straightening them out now. And while I'm thinking what I'm going to do to them, I'm, I'm making me a whip. The more I make it, the matter I'm getting. I can't wait to do it. Uh-uh. No, Jesus would never do that. Jesus would never do anything that he done without the Father telling him, you go do it. Now, now see, even, even that scenario where Jesus went into the temple and ran them out, that's a pretty bold thing to do. One man, 